All right, they're doing uh, road construction out on my uh, Key Haven Road, so I'm here on that university road, college road, whatever. So I had to do this pain in the ass kayak unload, cross the street over damn curb, and then load up the kayak because I do want to get out to the Gulf today, and this is a lot more convenient than going up farther. So the plan is go out, tack some. Uh, try to do some fishing out there so we'll see what happens it's an amazingly beautiful day today this is uh, the west side of Key Haven big wide deep channel but today we got about we're about 80 degrees winds coming from the south to the north and we're heading out to the Gulf just to go over what we're doing today so we're over here at uh, Isla Agua or Agua Isla just over there from Key West where we launched and this is the back country nice winds coming out of the south so the Gulf side was definitely the side to be on as you can see it's real nice flat calm I already saw one permit back there which was kind of sucky <laughs> Those guys should be out of here, but since it's been so unseasonably warm this winter time, we're 80 degrees and can't tell any difference in the summertime. The water's getting warm back up again. But today's plan of attack is I am going to go on the east side of these mangroves, and that's where the deep cuts are right underneath. And I'm going to put that little ugly stick GX2 to some. Uh, big mangrove snappers and see how we do so I'm gonna go chum up some uh, pinfish uh, cast net them up and then I brought my good anchor as well as my pole anchor just uh, anchor up within casting distance and then throw a knocker rig with the live pinfish underneath those uh, mangrove uh, undercuts and see what's living under there primarily it'll be a mangrove snapper but you get a lot of big barracudas uh, Goliath grouper as well so and they're still tarping around I think and that's kind of the the other reason why I want to come out here is to see what's out and about uh, it's good to see that permit I'd like to see if there's any of the juvenile tarping in here although we're really only a month or two away for the big boy tarping to come and that's a whole different story but uh, that is what we're doing today so let's check it out well we're on the back side so we're what's called the, the uh, back country so just right there is the uh, Gulf of Mexico water is super dirty still with all this wind that's been going on it's looking nasty but I don't know how we're gonna do but my favorite part of the Keys is out this way definitely the most scenic so I think I'm gonna just take a quick run by these are the points that I'm going to be fishing. There's just deep undercuts through all these little fingers all the way down this whole side. And uh, I'm just going to kick back and then pitch baits underneath there and see what's living under there. But for now, I'm just going to check them out and then go find a bait spot, see if I could uh, chum some bait up and then give it a shot. There's no current right now, so I'm just kind of chumming up right there in my cast net area. Try to get them all pulled together and then just throw one net on them. The, the water's been just so dirty that all the turtle grass is just covered in like dust. So not a lot of bait fish around. But I'm getting them centered. So I'm going to throw the net here real quick. Okay, I'm just going to throw one more handful out there just to keep them centered. And then throw the net on them hopefully. See if there's any there. We got any, we got any, we got any. See the sparkles. Yeah, looks like a decent load and one uh, one mango snapper. Yeah. 
Yeah, decent load. I'll take it. I got a dozen or so nice pin fish ranging in from like two inches all the way up to probably four inches, five inches. So we are good to go. All right, we're kind of set up here. Uh, you can take a look at what's happening. Got my uh, pole anchor stuck in there right at the edge of this drop off. There's an incoming channel coming through here and these corner cuts is what I'm looking for. You can see how deep it is underneath there and it gets back up to a skinny or shallow there. Um, ultimately, I'm going to be using my anchor to kind of get out a little bit farther out, but this is just for a talking sake. But and then you can tell there's undercuts, deep undercuts underneath those uh, mangroves that we're going to be hitting. So I've got my knot, a knocker rig. I'm using a two ounce weight because I want to peg that sucker right on the bottom. Um, generally, I'm not going to have these trees in the way, but uh, we're going to throw this out and see what we can do. All right, we've anchored up, got my little anchor there to get a little better positioning. I'm going to just drop it right down there. And that two ounce weight is going to peg it right straight down. And we just wait and see what happens here. Okay, one's taking it. And we got him. Just like that. Not a bad one. Not too shabby for the first one. Definitely not the monsters we want, but not bad. There he goes. Get him out of there. Get him out. Ah. pressure on them so they can't go any deeper. Oh, it's a nice one too. It's on that rope. Ah. Damn you fishy. Oh, did he? He got off and I got on the rope. Son of a bitch. Well, the ugly stick is working out okay. That uh, big game trialing is not. It's just way too stretchy for this stuff. He's got to yank them out real quick and they're just springing that uh, line and then uh, getting away. go that was easy the ugly stick does work just gotta make sure they get out in the right direction playing with it messing with it Picking it up, it's got it now. Got it. And pull him out of there. Arrgh! Pull him out, pull him out, pull him out, pull him out, pull him out. Pull him out. This reel sucks. Pull him out, pull him out. Yes! Take a look at this boy. He got eaten by alligator part ways. Bam! Why are you so bleeding so much?
Woo! He jumped the shit out of there. There we go. Another one. Another one. Ugh. Get out of there. No, going in there. No, going in there. No. Ugly stick. God, your reels suck. Ugh. Another beast. Look at that. I want you to come around on this side. Oh, let me get you on this side. Nice. Yeah. <laughs> that one is going home. Beauty. Ugly stick, wrecking these snappers. You're going home, buddy. Ah. Look at that. Nice fudge. <laughs> hey. That one ah, smells like soup. All right, let's see if we can get this one on camera here. Drop it to that base, pretty deep hole right there in this corner. I'm gonna let them run with this one. Make sure they get it down. There it goes, there it goes. There we go. Stay out of there. Oh. Yeah. That's how you do it. With the ugly stick. And a cheap reel. Bam. Alrighty. Look at that. Woo! Smacking these boys today. That's how we do it. This guy's gonna jump. Ah, nice. All right, I'm done. Time to go home. Ah, well, we made it. Survived the trip. Got to our launch there. So just gotta haul all this crap across the street into my car. Well, I hope my car's still there. <laughs> Anyways, thanks for watching.